kind of want to back out now, but it's too late. So I have gotten subtle things like subtle highlights or balayages done in the past but I've never completely bleached my hair. I do have extremely dark Asian hair naturally. As you can see I've gotten some um, ashy subtle highlights done to my hair recently but something that's always been on my bucket list is just to bleach it completely so I just thought I'd give it a go this time. So that's the 30 volume developer I'm going to be using along with this bleaching powder. And then I got like an ash blonde color along with a 20 volume developer. I also got this no yellow um, mask or you can get like the no yellow shampoo um, just to tone it in between bleaches so I have been studying online but I just thought I needed a break from my studies and thought I would document this process at the same time so I'm excited to do this and please don't try this at home please go to a salon and get it done professionally so I've just applied some coconut oil in order to coat and protect my hair um, and I'm just going to section it. So the first section would just be somewhere there and I'll just tie it up. So that's the first. Right, so that's the first section. Oh god, I'm nervous about this. Anyway, it's just hair so it's going to go back, right? I've also mixed the bleach um, with the developer. I'm not sure if I should back out or... So just wearing some gloves as well. I oh, kind of want to back out now but it's too late. Just adding some gloves okay so I've sectioned it and I'm just gonna start the application process it's really hard to film as I'm doing it okay it's probably gonna turn out very patchy as well because the sections are a bit thick yeah I'm probably gonna do this off camera so I can do it nicely mmm the smell is so strong as well okay I'm just gonna do this off camera because it's really hard to film as I do it I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done and I'll um, show you guys what it looks like after I wash it as well. Okay. Hopefully that's saturated enough. I know it's going to turn out patchy because I didn't section it well enough. I'm just going to use this plastic bag to cover it up and I'll probably wait an hour and then wash it off. This is what it looks like after the first bleach. But I'm going to be doing this process again because it hasn't reached the desired level of lightness. Might even need two more bleaches. Hopefully it just needs one more. Let's see. So I just blow dried my hair and this is what it looks like. It looks like a lion's mane. I'm ready for round two. So apply. Uh, I'll do that and show you guys what it looks like once it's washed off. I just finished washing the bleach off. It's, re it's really late and I'm quite sleepy, so I'm just gonna dry my hair and go to bed now. Okay, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> Wet. I still have to dry it, so it will be lighter when I dry it. Um, it has gotten lighter, and I think my highlights have turned really white, um, and the rest is still pretty yellow. Okay, so it's now the next morning and this is what my hair looks like dry. I basically went to bed last night because I started my hair bleaching process basically after dinner. So by the time I was finished with round two, it was pretty late and I was pretty tired. So I just went to bed and this is what it looks like. It's all burnt and damaged. But I am going to do it for a third time because there's still bits of yellow and orange left in my hair. So I'm just going to bleach it one more time. Don't try this at home, but since it was on my bucket list and I always just wanted to do it, I'm just going to go all out and just do it and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so I've just finished application number three. I didn't have a lot of bleach left over, so it's not very um, evenly distributed. I'm just going to put my head in a plastic bag and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I wash it off. Okay, so I just washed my hair and as expected, my hair feels like noodles and they're breaking off but that was expected and i knew so this is natural lighting and it looks pretty light i'll turn my hair and show you guys what it looks like 
So this is the final result. I basically washed and toned and straightened my hair. So I initially used the light ash blonde color and I really wasn't liking the color. It wasn't dark enough. So then I went ahead and purchased the dark ash blonde instead. Um, and then I applied that with developer and this is the result. I quite like the results. Uh, of course, the quality of my hair has been compromised. So I'm going to have to apply a lot of coconut oil, hair masks and some Olaplex treatments. Other than that, this is what it looks like in natural lighting and I had fun experimenting with my hair and just filming this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.